Rappers Lil Wayne and Kodak Black were pardoned by Donald Trump just hours before he left office, you wanna know why? That and much more right after these messages. Click subscribe to Black Social TV as you watch this video. Kodak Black and Lil Wayne were praised for their charitable donations. Rap stars Lil Wayne and Kodak Black were on the list of more than 140 people who were granted pardons or had their sentences commuted by outgoing U.S. President Donald Trump on his last full day in the job. Lil Wayne was trustworthy and generous. Lil Wayne, real name Dwayne and Michael Carter Jr., pleaded guilty to a federal weapons charge last year. The 38-year-old was found to be carrying a gun and bullets when police searched a private plane in Miami in December 2019. He faced up to 10 years in prison. He is also one of the biggest stars in rap, with 5 US number 1 albums and more top 40 singles than any other artist apart from Drake. He met and appeared to endorse President Trump during the election campaign the late last year, praising his work on criminal reform. The White House said his pardon had been championed by Brett Burrish, CEO of wine and spirits company Sovereign Brands, who described Lil Wayne as trustworthy, kind-hearted and generous, the White House statement went on to say the rapper had exhibited this generosity through commitment to a variety of charities, including donations to research hospitals and a host of food banks. Deion Sanders, who also wrote in support of the pardon, called him a provider for his family, a friend to many, a man of faith, a natural giver to the less fortunate, a waymaker, and, a game changer. Lawyer Bradford Cohen, who represents both Lil Wayne and Kodak Black, told media President Trump and his administration have been tireless advocates on behalf of the African-American community. These pardons are a perfect example of this administration following up on its reforms and commitments. Kodak Black supported underprivileged children. The 23-year-old, real name Bill K. Capri, had a U.S. number one album in 2018. He was sentenced to almost four years in jail in 2019 for making a false statement to buy a firearm. He has now had his sentence commuted, with the White House praising his philanthropic work. Black is a prominent artist and community leader, officials noted. He has committed to supporting a variety of charitable efforts, such as providing educational resources to students and families of fallen law enforcement officers and the underprivileged, they said. He has also paid for the notebooks of school children, provided funding and supplies to daycare centers, provided food for the hungry, and annually provides for underprivileged children during Christmas. And while behind bars, he gave $50,000 to COVID hit small businesses in his Florida hometown. The campaign for his freedom had the backing of religious leaders including Ohio pastor and former Trump advisor Daryl Scott, and Rabbi Schnur Kaplan, as well as former New York Police Commissioner Bernie Carrick, who was himself pardoned by Mr. Trump last year. Kodak Black also had the support of activist Hunter Pollock, whose sister was killed in a school shooting in 2018, and fellow artists Gucci Mane, Lil Pump, and Lil Yachty. Black Social TV congratulates Lil Wayne and Kodak Black. Click subscribe and share this video.